So warning for today's video, if you don't like change, you probably don't want to watch this video. <laughs> What's up everybody? So if you don't like change, don't look. Same hood, Saibon hood, just had it wrapped. The color is not perfect, but it's a pretty good match. Uh, Sunny down at Sunrise Auto, check those guys out. I'll drop a link here. So the plan is I have the Saibon hood. It was new two years ago. It's never been finished, never been sanded, looking a little rough. And so driving into winter, didn't really want to fix it at this point and refinish it. And so we're going white, put the vinyl on. And so I've always had this vision, not to spoil it, of the white on white, kind of like the original Pandem kit. And so hood is part number one. And next, trunk. So if you're super OG back in the beginning, this is my original trunk. It's got the five axis spoiler on it in the same custom pearl white paint. And so this is a match to the car. And this was Birdie's nurse back wing. So Birdie from Kings West Rise, if you missed that video, check it out. We actually got his trunk um, when he went to Battle Arrow and put the whole trunk and wing on. And so today I'm going to put the original trunk back on and we're going to do some work on this one. And so you have to wait for that. Take a little while to get the whole project together, but I never did make an actual video of how do you do this. And so I'll do a play by play. Um, I'm just going to do it by myself today. This is kind of a two man job sometimes to hold the trunk. I'll just do quick, quick tips on uh, sequence to follow and how you get the trunk off, including all the wiring, because I don't have an extra harness in this one. This trunk is totally bare. So I'll have to move all the wiring over too. Let's do it. First things first, let's get this plate all off. All right. So next up, you can see the wiring harness in here. And this is your lock mechanism. And so since I only have one setup, I've got to move that lock to the other trunk, as well as the lights and this whole center bar. So surprisingly simple process. Under here, you've got a couple of eight mil bolts that will pop, pop your lock off. And then we're gonna release all these wiring harnesses and just feed them back through. So just two little nuts and then you can just wiggle the lock out. There we go. And so funny story, right when I was starting making this video, my eight mil that I used for those little nuts fell down inside the trunk. <laughs> so there's no way I'll get it out. So I went through my, uh, my old school collection and a five sixteenths is about the same. So this is saving my ass. <laughs> Next up while I'm under here, just gonna release this clip. And then these are factory mounts for your harness. We're just gonna pop those, release this clip on the actual lock and take this out, this couple of bolts in here. Same thing, release here all the way along. And then what I did last time is I actually fed this harness and the lock and everything. I didn't take it all apart and just pulled it out through the hole. And then we get from here, we can release this piece through the harness here. All right. So quick release, light number one. Quick release from the lock mechanism and quick release on light number two. And that's on that center bar. We're going to take this off and move it on to the other trunk. 
clip here through the frame, just holding that in. There was another one back here, just pop that off. And then we're gonna take this out through the bottom. Next little tip, right here, on either end of your hydraulic is a quick release. A lot of people don't know this and they end up kind of like wrenching the hood or the trunk, I mean, and trying to get in there with the socket. So you can actually just pop this. And pull that hydraulic right off. So then it's totally out of your way. Do the same on the other side. Now the sad part, all these stickers will be inside my old trunk. <laughs> Lucky cat. Shout out to Birdie. So the center bracket, this piece, we can actually see all the bolts here. There's a nut here, another one here. These two that we did for the lock, and then one additional one on this side. So we'll just get those off and that center piece will come right off. Once those are out, there is a little trick with the lights. They actually have a mechanism where you just twist them to get them out of place. And they pop right out. Now the center piece should come off. And then the lights have a seal, of course. So just wiggle those out and we're good. To the big boys so these guys i think they're 12 mil do yourself a favor take the bottom one out first just so you have the weight in the center ideally you've got someone helping you just to hold that up when you take the other ones out don't take them out all the way all at once do the bottom two loosen up the top two and then when you've got a good grip on it and it won't slide then pull off those top two Same on the other side. Uh, and this trunk with the nurse back wing is a little heavy, so I gotta hold on to it. So I'm not gonna video this point. Basically, I'm just gonna hold it up, get the last two bolts out. I'll take them out a little bit at first so I can get a good grip. And then when it's off, switch to white. Here's my one man setup. Got my mats in here. You can see it only is gonna drop like half an inch, so. I'll hold on to it, get the bolts out. Wish me luck. Just like butter, check that out. Ooh. I think after I'll put this on a scale and see how heavy this is. <laughs> and as soon as I flipped it over, my eight mil rolled out that I dropped inside. <laughs> There they are. Now, depending on how fussy you are when you work, these clips, the upper part of the lock, the lights, I could pop those in while the hood is on the ground, but it's actually no problem if you do them on the car either. So uh, I'm just gonna do the reverse and put all this back together, only in white. So I just pop the two lights in from the outside. Then the actual bulbs. They pop in, like I showed you. They just twist and lock. Then, the actual lock, just hand tight right now. Two bolts, those are back in. One clip here. And then the lock, I just need to feed that back in. I'm going to give it a little clean first. And this will go on once I have that trim piece on. Because all the original bolts are on the trim. Last piece is the lock. You can see the two bolt heads coming out. Just lean it on there, angle it in, and you're good. All right, so lock is in. 
bolts are in and we're good to put this on. So you know when you do a job and everything goes super smooth, you clean it up all your tools and <laughs> this little seal that goes around the lock. So I'm just gonna pop that off and put this back in. It's my one glitch for the day. Uh, yeah, just like that. <laughs> so last tip before I do this, exactly the same order in reverse. So when you're putting the trunk on, put those top bolts on first, just as an anchor. It's more in the center of the weight, but thread them in by hand. You can see I use a tool sometimes just for torquing these things up, but be sensitive. You can't get back in there and fix these things if you strip them. So get the first couple in by hand or to get the center two in, the bottom two in, and then uh, should be good to go. Wish me luck. That's that. Definitely would have been easier if I had someone else just holding it. But honestly, that took me like not even two minutes probably. Next step, hydraulic. It just clicks on and then you just put that little spacer back on that holds it. Feed through the wiring and connect it back up in the three ports that we uh, did the quick release on. And then we'll check it out. Harness goes back in, same hole. Up and to the left. <laughs> two lights and the trunk is the one that's the white last one Now, just as a fail safe, I'm going to go turn the lights on, make sure it's actually working, and then try the lock, both the electronic release, try your key release, try the button release, and then lastly, we'll actually try the key lock just to make sure it's all working. So far, so good. Then we'll do the big reveal. <laughs> I'll just drop the camera. So the key release was super dirty. I've never actually used the key, I don't think like maybe once ever. And then for the latch, just to make sure it's actually mechanically working, do, do, just do your trunk release. So you know something's happening. Now lock it down, see what happens. <laughs> Good luck. Simple as pie. I've done this three times and so never had an issue. Super simple mechanism for Toyota, thank you. And now uh, I just put my plate back on, make sure everything is uh, there, make sure we got no extra nuts and bolts hanging out. And then let's go take some pictures. Going old school with my plate cover while I'm at it. <laughs> Team Scion. I might see if I can actually. get the GT86 off. I know Bertie brought that in from Japan or Australia or something. Could be cool if it's just 3M, I'll see if I can get it off. There it is. New trunk, <laughs> old trunk, the original trunk back on. Ready for winter stealth mode and get to work on this one. So one of the reasons I popped this off, got some chips and need to do the finish on the, uh, on the nurse back wing and that, that black trunk. 
but also in the winter with all the snow, I drive my car in the winter, it's really hard to brush around and you keep on scraping the, the wing and scratching it all the time. So the winter white setup. I don't think I've ever actually had the car all white. Cool. Ninja, white ninja. <laughs> 